What's up, it's Nez, and welcome back to Rockwin, everyone. Last episode, we finally managed to get on Tony's Island with the help of Daniel and Winston for building us a boat. And now, it seems like we're stuck in yet another memory that we have to go through, solve, and learn more about Tony's past. The teddy bear. Oh, ooh, the lights. This, a snow globe from Switzerland. What's over here? A young girl's diary. Open it. The journal is locked. There's a note taped to the side. Read it? Benny, you'd better not try to read my diary. This is girl stuff. So keep out. Love, Christy. Who's Benny? Who is Benny? That's the first time we've heard of that name. Turn on television. I hope it doesn't work. A girl's winter coat. Look inside the pockets. There's nothing inside except for an old faded movie ticket. The shelves are lined with several kinds of books, from mystery to high fantasy. One book is slightly out of place. Look behind it. You found a letter that has been wedged in between the books. Hmm, interesting. Read it. Dear Christy, this place is pretty neat after all. The house is big with lots of room to explore. Some of the doors are locked though. And the outside is really big. There's a river and even a waterfall. And today, mommy found a turtle. Anyways, when you get back from school, we should go play. I have lots to show you. Love, Benny. An assortment of math, history, and foreign language school books. Stacked on top of the books are brochures about traveling to Japan. A stack of school books. Something is written on the back cover of one of them. Read it. Dad was wrong. What? Basket filled with laundry. Look through it. There's nothing in here but laundry. Little boy, you shouldn't be looking at the dirty laundry of women. A young adult novel about a detective solving a murder mystery. Is that what's happening right now? A murder mystery? The door is locked. Okay, so we're trapped. What do we need to do? What haven't we interacted with yet? Hey, Mom, give us a hint. Oh, nope, you have no hints whatsoever. Why do we even bring you along? Let's search the top drawer. A small note has been tucked in between a pair of white socks. Hi, Christy. You'll never believe that I found what I found today in your room. Another secret passage in the wall. What? A secret passage, you say? See if you can find it. If you can't, ask me and I'll tell you. Love, Benny. P.S. I was only in your room because OG was hiding under your bed, and I didn't read your diary. Neatly folded clothes fill the drawer. You see something shiny underneath one of the shirts. Is it gold? Yes! The drawer is locked. Well... Hmm. We need to find that secret door, though. How? Hmm. Behind the bookcase? That's only logical conclusion, right? Is it somewhere inside the TV? Oh my. Where are we? There's a letter on the floor. Dear Christy, how's my little girl? Are you helping your mother around the house? Are you getting good grades? When I come home, I'll be bringing you a special present for being good. Love, Dad. A model airplane. Hello? This part of the house is really old. A box wrapped with packing tape. There is something written on the side. Delivered to Culver City, California. 13. What do you want to search? The top drawer. The drawer is filled with letters and postcards addressed to houses in several different states. You found Christie's drawer key. Photograph of a man in a pilot's uniform standing by a girl in elementary school. So that must be Christie's dad. There's faded writing on the back. St. Louis, first grade. Door is locked. 
Why is there suddenly writing on the wall that says Benny? What? Who is messing with us? Dresser. Hmm. Where's the dresser again? Is the dresser here? Christie's dresser key has unlocked the drawer. You found the passage key. Well, back to the creepy passageway we go. What the fuck? Benny was. That's gonna say Benny was here. He used the passage key to unlock the door. Even more box puzzles. Model airplane over here. Let's push this forward, push this to the side, push this there. A teddy bear with a note attached. Read the note. Dear Christy, I got you this bear from a shop in Oregon. Take care of it till I get back, okay? Love, Dad. Well, well, well. I think I made a mistake there and trapped us. Let's reset it. A blue toy train car with the name Benny written on the side. Interesting. Very interesting. Push this forward. Push this forward. You found Christie's room key. Wait, there's something else inside. What is it? It looks like a letter that never got sent. It's got a stamp on it and everything. For Tony only, it says. Maybe we'd better not open that. You might as well, we're already in the creepy memory. You can hold on to it and give it to Tony next time we see him. What about this weird drawing that the letter is attached to? What is it? Ah, well, now I'm not totally sure. If I had to guess, I'd say it looked like a set of plans for building wings, don't you think? It's definitely drawn by a little kid. Look what's written on the back. If I want to see him, I have to build wings. Mm, let's study these plans. Maybe we could even build our own wings using materials around this house. What do you think? Yeah! Okay, here are the plans. How to build wings by Christy. Get six feathers, get eight sticks, fly to, get glue, backpack straps, fly to daddy. So six feathers, eight sticks, backpack straps, and glue. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's get out of this creepy room. Yep, Benny. Why is there suddenly treasure chests here? Found two sticks. We found a feather. Serendipitous. Let's get out of here. You use the key to unlock the door. We're back in Morazora's forest. Shh, careful, Christy. Do you see them? There's so many fish. I want to eat them all. Eh, soon enough. We're gonna be very quiet. We're gonna listen very carefully. When the time is right, you'll know it. But what if I don't know it? Ah, oh, what a cute bear cub. You will. Look, Christy. You see it? Where? No, I don't see it. I see it now. Get ready. And remember what I taught you. We're gonna go fishing. Aha! You did it. My little girl caught her first fish. Daddy, I did it. I caught a fish. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. So now we know that the dad was actually Tony. Hello? Door is locked. We have even more creepy music. Who is washing their clothes in this memory? A basket filled with laundry. Look through it. Someone left an envelope inside a pocket of a pair of pants. Honey, I'm worried about Christina. Her teacher called today with some bad news. 
I think we need to talk with... What happened? What happened to Christina? Fill the sink with water! Where'd mom go? Mom? Mom, where you go? A large bathtub. Oh, there she is. Nope, that's locked. Let's check out this door. Nope. Nope. What the hell? There's a letter on the ground addressed to Christina's parents. Read it. I'm growing increasingly concerned about Christina. She used to pay attention in class and always completed her homework on time. Lately, however, she's been having di difficulty during lessons. And in the past week alone, she's already forgotten to turn in her homework three times. The blue, red, and yellow switches downstairs must all be turned on in order to gain access to the attic. Well, I guess we have to go and find them switches! Why is every single house we go to some weird- Oh my. Nope, that's locked. That's locked. Packaging tape. Christy, I don't want to go. They pick on me. To use the switches in the room, turn on their corresponding power sources. Those power sources are color-coded and located throughout the house. Different on and off combinations will affect different things around the house. What? Things will change. What kind of things? A bookshelf filled with books from around the world. Let's see if we could interact with this TV. Nope, it's broken. Let's go to the bottom. In the bathroom. Why does mom always disappear in the bathroom? Nope. Well, okay then. What could we need to do aside from finding all the switches? Cabinet is locked. Open the hutch. Shelves are adorned with antique tea sets and decorative plates. What about in the kitchen? Is there anything in the kitchen? No. The fridge. Grocery list. Potatoes, peas, lima beans, milk. Let's go and find a switch. There's one. Turn on the blue power source. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. A red children's backpack with detachable straps. Take the straps. You found the backpack straps. Open the hutch. Nope, it's stuck. Open the hutch. A sack of postcards have been tied together with a string. Most are too faded to read. You can, however, make out the writing in one of them. My family just made it to London in record time. And it's a good thing because they tell me that a giant storm is coming in. Be good to your mother and eat your vegetables. I miss you all very much. Dad. Tony was rich though. A beautiful painting. Someone's etched something into the bottom right side of the frame. He's not crazy. What? No? Box. Deliver to Westminster. So. Stack of books. Stop picking on me. A record player. The chest. Found a feather. Bookshelf filled with books from around the world. One of the books looks a bit strange. As you open the book, you can see that it's hollowed out and turned into a secret box. Found dining room cabinet key. Well, things are getting interesting. Here we are in the dining room. If we can open the door.
the only one left. Several folders containing travel records, an airman certification and passport. There's a letter inside addressed to Christina's parents. It is sad to see this decline in Christina's academic performance. She was once one of my most brilliant students, but now she's failing almost every subject. On five gold. So what drove Christina to stop caring about school? Doors locked. We switched on the blue switch. Let's go back and turn on the switch over here. That's the bathroom. Nope, that's still locked. That's also still locked. So what's changed about the house? Hmm. Maybe the doors upstairs have opened up? That's creepy as hell. That's the room. That's still locked. Also still locked. Still can't go through there. Hello, master bedroom. Nope, nothing in here. A basket filled with laundry, look through it. Someone left an envelope inside a pocket pair of pants. Seems that the children have found their own clubhouse. It's not in the trees, apparently it's somewhere inside the house. Benny hinted at it today. I'm guessing they found a little room connected to one of the closets, perhaps. As long as they're safe, I don't mind, but could you keep an eye on them when I run, run to the store? I won't be long. Even more secret compartments! A model airplane. Dead. Turning on the lights. The aviator's guide to the northeast. It looks as though someone has written something inside the book. Thirteen steps in the closet. Hot pot of coffee! Stacks of neatly folded flannel shirts. There's a small empty box tucked beneath one of the shirts with a note attached. Benny found them so we decided to throw them away. Please don't be mad at us. They aren't good for you. Love, Benny and Christy. There's a piece of paper inside what looks as though it was torn off a larger document. Reported that he is being teased and pushed around by his peers in school. Because he experiences rejection and teasing, it is difficult for him to build strong interpersonal relationships. Closet door stuck. Can't go through there. Interesting. Are Benny and Christina brother and sister? It seems like they are. That door is still locked. You're in the bathroom. In here. He's absolutely perfect. I can't believe how much he looks like Christina. Little baby brother! You're a big sister now, Christina. How do you feel about it? Makes me really happy. I feel like I've waited forever for a baby brother. You'll finally have another cub to play with. I'll teach him everything I know. I'll teach him the best games and the best hiding spots, the best places to catch fish. I'll be the best big sister ever. I'm sure you will, Christy. Where are we now and why are there a bunch of pianos there? There's a letter with children's writing on it. Dear Christy, while you were at big kids school, I found that this room full of baby pianos. I found this room full of baby pianos. Pretty neat, huh? But here's the bad part. They're all broken. Each piano only has one key that works. Weird. If you want to play a real piano though, there's one in, there's one downstairs. Love, Benny. So it's a memory game?
Let's try this. Well, we got that switch. Turn red power source on. We found the feather. Piano. A piece of sheet music with a simple melody is sitting on the piano. Play the music. Look at the chessboard. Finished looking? What do we have to do? Hmm. Toy drums. Well, let's go back downstairs and turn on the red switch. My. It was my written on the wall. So different switches activate different rooms. This room is now open. Okay, Benny. Today I'm going to teach you how to be a detective. Yes, I want to learn! First things first. We bears really have a good sense of smell. It's our most important tool. More important than a magnifying glass? Yes, even more important than that. See? Watch! I'm going to close my eyes and using only my nose, I'll find us some mushrooms. Mushrooms! Wow, you didn't even look once! See what I mean? The next thing you need to know when you're looking for a bad guy is how to track their footprints! Bad guys always leave footprints! It's true. See these footprints? A bad guy made those! You're totally right, Benny! But that's not all! Check this out! There's honey in here! Who put that there? You got me! The bad guy is dead! Run! Haha! <laughs> Your detective skills are too good for me! I cannot get enough of these cute little bears. Oh no, we're in the chess room. I should have remembered! There's a letter on the ground. Read it. Dear Chrissy, when are you coming back from school? I have so much to tell you. I found another secret passageway, but this time it was a closet downstairs. You know, the closet there downstairs where mom keeps a vacuum cleaner. It leads all over the house. There's a door locked up there too. But people were coming, so I had to run before I could try opening it. I think I found a key that opens a door. Let's try it later when everyone's asleep. Love, Benny. Received secret passageway key. Mysterious! More chess rules. When your pawn reaches the other side of the board, you can replace it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. This is called promotion. Most of the time, players choose to replace their pawn with a queen as it's the most powerful piece. This is commonly referred to as queening. So what we need to do is... Get a pawn, move it all the way to the other side. Turn it into a queen. Then, we move it back to where it was. There we go! Switch opened! My fault. Who wrote that? Benny or Christina? Well, time to open the yellow switch. Let's turn this off. The chest opened up. We found a feather. This one's still locked. 
Can we get different combinations to open different chests? Which one of you turns the light on in the very middle? Well, we open this chest. Found two sticks! But before we go into the middle room, I remember that there was a secret passage here. In the place where mom keeps the vacuum cleaner. Here? Yep, oh my. What? 5, 10, 12. Hello? Well, these lead all over the house. What's in here? Found two sticks. There's a letter on the ground addressed to Christina's parents. Christina did not attend school today. Her classmates said they saw her sitting in the park during their walk to class. Given her failing grades, her inability to concentrate in class, and her social isolation, I'm recommending that she visits a specialist. Please contact me so we can set up a meeting. This is for the best. What was happening to Christina? Let's go up and open up that memory. Hello? I hate moving, Christy. We move all the time and I'm always the new kid. They pick on me. It makes me never want to leave the cave. They were picking on Benny. Who would want to pick on Benny? I know, Benny. I feel the same way. But I'm taking you to a place that'll make you feel much better. Really, Chrissy? You're the best! I promise, Benny. You're gonna love this place. This is so neat! How did you find it? It's like a secret hideout! It is a secret hideout. Our secret hideout. We can make it our first official secret detective clubhouse. This is the greatest! Wait, doesn't Ed somebody already live here? Nope. Are you sure? What about the lanterns? In the garden? Forest spirits put the lanterns there. And the garden's just left over from the previous owner. Trust me, I've been checking on my walk back from school every day. This place is abandoned. You're right, Christy. I do love this place. And check this out. There's even a little cave that leads back to the main path. So if any bad guys try to catch us while we're doing our detective work, we can sneak out through here. We finally have our own place! Thank you, Chrissy. You're the best big sister ever. Come on, Benny. Wanna see what the cave looks like? Yeah! Is that the reason why Christy stopped going to school? Because she was... entertaining Benny? Found another feather. Well, we have the, all the feathers now. This is Benny's room. Teddy bear with a note attached. Benny, my boy. Your mother tells me that the bears are your favorite, so I got you this for your birthday. What will you name him? Children's comic book. There's a folded piece of paper between the two pages. Today, Chrissy and I found something really neat inside the secret passageway in the closet. There's another secret door in the wall. It leads to a small room at the end. It's so secret that you can't see the door at all. You have to walk exactly 13 steps into the passageway from the closet. Then you could find it. We're gonna turn it into our clubhouse and use it for all detective work. Postcard's been tucked in between a pair of white socks. Benny, my boy, I just landed in Texas and found this postcard in a gift shop. Take care of your mother. It's be nice to your sister. If you're good, I'll bring you back a present for my trip. Of that. Found five gold! Neatly folded school clothes, coloring, books, and a family photo in a frame. Exactly 13 steps from the cabinet. Here? Oh my. I'm the worst sister. What happened to Benny?
There's a letter on the ground. Dear Benny, I think we're the only ones in the whole world that knows about this place. Isn't it neat? I brought some candy for when we get hungry and glue from school so we can build the model planes dad got us. I'll meet you here after school. Love, Christy. We have glue now. Several toy bears neatly arranged in a pile. The name Benny has been embroidered onto all of them. A jar of colorful children's candy. The Official Secret Detective Diary Chapter 1 Invisible Ink Did you ever need to write a message that only bad guys could read and not the- That only you could read and not the bad guys? Mix lemon juice and water to make the ink. When you want to read it, hold it up to the warm light bulb. That's how detectives do it. Chapter 2 Dusting for Fingerprints After a crime happens, detectives must look for fingerprints. You can do this using baby powder and mom's makeup brush. Johnny Dr. Keller that's the bad guys. Johnny, Dr. Keller, Mr. Evil, Roger, Alex, the dentist. A half assembled model plane. Do we, have, do we have all the things we need now to make wings? Six sticks. No, we need two more sticks. You look at Chrissy's wing schematic. Two more sticks. Where are we gonna find those? What if we interact with this plant right here? Let's water it to see if it grows into a bean. Oh, it does grow into a beanstalk. Can we climb it? Hello there. Broken television. There's a letter on the ground. I don't know if you'll even read this, but I think you should look at what your daughter wrote. I know it's not easy. We're all suffering right now. But you need to talk to her before it's too late, Tony. She needs you right now. Delivered to Endicott, New York. Well, we have the last two of the sticks. Now we could finally go to the attic. I can't wait to eat. Nothing works up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. Okay, kids, dig in. I'm not hungry. How is that possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy. Sorry, I mean, we are both kind of snacking. Ah, uh, it's okay, we're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay. If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. <laughs> Benny, wait. Christy. Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? Is something gonna happen to Benny? I will. That's my girl. We're playing as Christy now. Benny, come with us. Don't go on alone. Benny! What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Christy. See, look. No, don't jump on the bridge, Benny. Come on, Benny. Stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you and... And I just don't want you to get hurt. It's fine, Christy. You worry too much. Benny, please. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Uh-oh. Christy, help! No! Benny! Sorry, Dad. No! Be Benny! Dad! Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? It's okay, Christy. Your father is just very tired today from work. Why don't you come on back and finish your dinner? 
Okay, Mom. There you are, Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I think you should go home, Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we always used to. It's just, you always said. Okay. I'll go home. Mom? Yes, dear? Does dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's also a lot of love for you. It doesn't feel like it. It used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christy. Good night, Mom. Hello? Well, it looks like we have everything we need to make these wings. Let's get to work. Mon, can you hold this feather in place and glue it down? Like this? Yes, it's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Wow, these are great! You think they'll work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it'll be fine. Let's fly. Tony. That? Hey kid, how'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No, nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. It's for you. It's from Christy. Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. Sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love, Christy. Oh, Christy. No. No, I don't hate you. I love you so much with all my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I live each day of my life with so much guilt looking at you, looking so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what happened. I know that's selfish, and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much, and I've only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. <laughs> Tony? You found Christy's journal key. And finally open her diary. Young girl's diary. There's a folded note inside labeled to Christy from Dad. 
I'm sorry that I have to leave again, Christy. But to help you understand just how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tucks you in tonight, promising me that you'll listen to this. It's the next piece of the song. And that you'll think of the song I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away for work, you always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, Dad. Daddy, I can't sleep. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Christy. How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. La la la, me me me, so so so. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course. And no warm up would be complete without a roar. Daddy, you're the funniest. If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha! Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little Good night, Christy. You received Morde no Kokoro Part 2. Where'd all the bears go? Mm, I'm not so sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have the blacksmith Jackie fix the music box. You better run there. Why is that? So that we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there. You're right. Let's go. Welcome back, guys! What can I do for you? We know the song. Jackie, we know the music box song now. You do? Well, that's fantastic news! I'll get right to work! We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time! My music box! T -t -t Tony! Bear! In my hut! Don't worry, he won't hurt you. No, Lebo! Did you fix my music box? This music box belongs to Tony! Yes, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but didn't know how to ask. So the little Lebel did fix it! If I say yes, will you not eat me? I can't believe this! You don't know what this means to me! I can't thank you enough! I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You are much nicer creatures than I give you credit for. I guess I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much, the least I could do is show you my gratitude. I, well, uh... Thank you, Tony Bear. And thank you, all my new little friends. Mom, look! It's another door! Should we see where it leads? Yeah! Funny dance. Ha, ha, ha. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you 